Okay, so this makes no sense whatsoever doing this, but oh yeah, it's freaking awesome. Woo! Come on! <laughs> But how are we going to basically create this? We're going to get ourselves the Sega Dreamcast system. We can also use an emulation machine. Yeah, what's the fun about that? And then of course, we're going to get ourselves the Senpo mini television I've reviewed in quite a long time ago. It's the TJ800 model and comes with some very cool specification that we're going to talk about. Of course, we're going to get ourselves like the controller and to make it complete, we need the HDMI dongle from a certain brand. I have one from Kaiko over here so we can connect the device, but you know, it's even cooler not using a controller. What we also can do is something other, like I think it's like the awesome thing you can do. It's like using the tiny keyboard and having a drink as mouse. Yeah, so this is going to be absolutely wicked. But let's talk about the Senpai mini television. What's going on with that? So there is a couple of these, I say, stores on AliExpress, but also outside of AliExpress selling this Senpao. And the Senpao is a quite interesting piece of tech that you can pick up. It's not cheap. I'm just going to be saying that already before you're going to look it up. So inside the box, or actually what are we going to get? We're going to get ourselves this 3.5 inch display IPS panel, tiny vintage looking device. Come out. We're going to get ourselves power supply. There is also a remote, but... Uh, I didn't include it in the box, I completely messed it up with this unboxing because I forgot to put it back in. So this is basically what you're going to get, a TV with like the option to plug into, as I say, some new devices. And it is kind of cool. <laughs> At the back we're going to get ourselves like a couple of connections that we can use controllers. We're not going to use it now because we actually like the mini TV. There is an, a memory card in here because you can even like install some Amy Alex. So having like a dedicated device, it's not powerful enough to run perfect Dreamcast emulations. That's the reason why we're going to do it with a real Dreamcast. Some switches over here and the switches basically indicates if you go to power it on, off and of course having the input to HDMI. You would expect laughing like this and that's kind of interesting but also weird at the same time. Maybe with the SunPower Media Television version 2, they can implement the option to having like this thing set to a television. So we can use the mini television on your television. And the reason why, combined with ME Alec, you have like this great emulation machine. But okay, we're not going to talk about it anymore. So as you can see, like it looks really damn good when it comes to the Dreamcast on this tiny display. Yeah, absolutely crazy cable nightmare <laughs> with everything like connected like this. But it works like a charm. So the next thing we need to do is of course getting the game that we want to play. When one of the games I wanted to try out is the Quake 3 Arena. And then we're going to connect not the controller, but the keyboard and mouse. So let's do that first. It's loading up. Please wait. This is being detected. And let's see if this disc is even working. Because I've been thinking for a very long time in my freaking collection. And also the device comes with a very nice speaker itself. All right, for the keyboard, I am using this very nice looking translucent version. I picked up from Frother Collector. That comes with the HKT 4000. That's more like a quite interesting one, made in Korea. Hmm. Okay, so this makes no sense whatsoever doing this, but oh yeah, it's freaking awesome. Woo! Come on! Yeah, flawless victory! All right, so let's see how this tiny mouse looks like. And so this thing is absolutely brand new, but it is very cute. And it lo <laughs> look at this tiny mouse, like, it's very cool, man. That's absolutely like a very cool combination. A tiny monitor and tiny keyboard or like, it would be cool if you have it more tinier than that. But let's unleash the mouse and let's wrap the cable and let's connect everything. I think when it comes to like this configuration, I think it's pretty cool. So the mouse itself will be like added to the second port. All right, so let's plug in the mouse. And then of course on the controller port, now I'm going to put in the keyboard. So it's going to be very epic to play like this. Oh, and I need a mouse mat. That is something other thing I'm needing. Because this isn't a very old school, let's say mouse. It's like not even like an optical mouse that we're used to. Oh man, this is going to be the one with the ball. Oh yeah. So let's play a little bit of a quake, a re old school, and then we're going to like mess around with it. Oh man, it's so cool that it actually works. I don't know if it's going to be seeing my mouse because I do have the idea my mouse has been recognized. Oh yeah, loading times. I have some technical difficulties. Somehow it doesn't want to connect the mouse and keyboard. I need to go to the settings. You can see nothing works now, so there's only one 
controller that seemed to be working. Kind of interesting. So let's figure that out. Oh, there we go. I think I need to set something up before everything works. I can still remember that I played this with two keyboards and two mouses on split screen. So I know it's going to be working. But after messing around with the configuration, it seemed to be working just fine. And it's a very interesting way to play like this. <laughs> I just burst into her. <laughs> okay, that's kind of interesting. This space bar is freaking zoom in. Okay. Oh, you can always mess around with the configuration, but... Okay, that seems to work fine too. <laughs> Ooh, that is really cool, man. Give me the plasma! Yeah! One other thing we can also play is some Mortal Kombat for fun. I recently reviewed this controller, the Retro Fighters, by the way, one of my favorite controllers to use nowadays on the Sega Dreamcast. But in the end, this configuration makes no sense whatsoever. Let's be honest, it's just a fun novelty, the sand power, and you can do all cool things with it. I just wanted to make a setup when it comes to a mini keyboard and a mini yeah, mouse and a monitor. It looks kind of cool and kind of nice on this 3.5 inch IPS panel. Nevertheless, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing, hit that little bell. Let me know in the comments what you think of this configuration. Would you like basically use it or put it for display? It would be great to see you in the next video.